Howdy Shop Indoor Golfers, this is Hunter, and today we are going to be going over one of our newer products called the X-Putt, all right? What this is going to be is your indoor putting simulator. This is going to be fantastic for anybody who just, one, you don't have the room for a full indoor golf simulator like some of the other stuff we have, or two, you're really trying to focus on something specific in your game, which of course in this case is going to be putting. What we've got in here, it's gonna one, come with your putting mat. It's gonna be about six feet long with a little pad on the end that you're gonna hit into. Also gonna come with your camera, a couple, an HDMI cord, power cable, some extenders for the camera if you need to change the height of it. Um, it'll work anywhere from about two feet off the ground to four feet, so anywhere in there. Um, and then it's also gonna come with, of course, your instruction manual and then your club stickers for the putter to make it a little bit more accurate. So let's dive on in. The first thing you're going to get is going to be your mat. Slide this over. All right. It's going to roll out. So we'll kind of lay that down this way. Everyone can kind of see it. All right, so we're going to get the mat. This is what you're going to put off of the whole time. Everything just runs right into the back of this. You know, you can hit anything up to, I think the hardest one I've hit was about 70 to 80 feet. You just bounce right off and roll right back to the putter. Next thing we're gonna have, gonna have our user manual. All right. This is the actual camera that comes with it. So this is what's gonna be either set on your shelf. You can mount it to the wall, mount it to the bottom of your TV. This is what's actually gonna be reading the ball in accordance with the mat and the dots that we have on our putter. It's also gonna come with our HDMI cable. And we have already taken this out and tested it, so that's why they're not in the packaging, okay. Got our power cable. Got some extenders for our, uh, for our camera here if you need to make it a little bit taller, if you've got a little bit shorter shelf. And then, stickers for the putter. Last thing is our EX putt remote, all right? So that's everything that comes with it. That's all you need for this setup. And I think now we're gonna get everything set up so we can kind of show you guys uh, what you can do with this thing. All right guys, so the first thing whenever we're setting this thing up is gonna be our camera. All right, I'm gonna have mine sitting on this shelf. You can either have it um, mounted to the wall or you can get it mounted to the TV. It is gonna come with a little bracket that'll be able to kind of stick to your wall or your TV. Um, I think this is kind of the easiest way, but of course some people just aren't gonna have a table there. So remember, this is gonna work from anywhere from about two feet, so around this height, all the way up to four feet, right around where the height of this TV is. Not really gonna work from much higher than that. Okay, so somewhere in that range, you should be able to find a good spot. So first thing we're gonna do, we already got our HDMI plugged in. Plug that right in the back. And then we've got our cable running back over this way. We're gonna stick this in. All right, and then right now I've got my mat about two feet away from my camera. Usually that's gonna be about the shortest distance. Uh, I have seen people have it all the way up from four to six feet. It is a pretty strong camera. So uh, from here, we'll get it turned on and uh, we'll be able to show you guys what the setup's gonna look like on that end. So the first thing we're gonna do, turn our X-Put on with our handy little remote. This is gonna be what controls most of everything, okay? Whether you aim, you moving through the menus, all of that stuff is gonna be controlled by this. So, all right, this is what you're gonna see whenever it turns on. We'll just give this a second to load up. Like I said, with this being able to aim, you actually can change some of the aim with the mat, and I'll walk you guys through that. It's a pretty ingenious function that they have with some of these arrows. It essentially involves putting a golf ball in a different part of the mat, and your mat actually has a couple different arrow keys that you can move your aim point with. So we'll go over that a little bit later too. So what you're seeing right here, this is my camera recognizing my mat. So you can see that we've got green. Oh, we gotta let it roll through one more time. Once you get the green, we're gonna hit okay. Of course, we're gonna play at our own risk. All right, so now what you'll see, you got a couple different ways that we can play and practice here. 
So practice is going to be your straight putts, really working on distance. You can set it to, you know, anywhere from 50 feet to five feet. You can mess with the step of the greens. Um, uh, you can change exactly how long it's going to be. You can change how many putts you're going to hit. You can make it random. You can make it all the same. A lot of stuff you can do in there. Challenge is basically going to be the same type of thing, but you can do it with a buddy. Um, so you're playing against each other. And then, of course, we have our play nine, which is actually going to take you out to, I believe there's four courses they have now. I did hear that they're going to be adding more soon that are going to be actual golf courses. So definitely be look for, looking forward to that. Um, but this is going to take you straight to a green on a nine hole course. Um, and you're basically going to get to play all nine. All right. You're going to start with anywhere from a 30 to 50 foot putt. Um, and you're basically trying to finish out that hole. So let's start with the practice just so we can kind of get a basic look at what you, uh, what you'll see whenever you hop in here. So like I said, we've got our green speeds. Now I have messed with this a little bit. 10 is going to be pretty fast. Okay. Um, 13 is going to be the Sunday at Augusta. All right. That is for, that is going to be extremely fast. So today we're going to mess with it right around nine. All right. And then of course you've got a couple different places that you can practice in. We'll do the city. I really like that skyline view. Um, distance will keep it random. And of course, max distance right around 50 feet. And we'll go ahead, start this up. Grab the putter. We'll just do one for you so we can kind of see exactly what's gonna happen here. And all we're trying to do now is just hit a nice 16 footer. We'll see if we can get the pace right. Well, pretty happy with that. So, and you can kind of see over here exactly what it's doing. So that was pretty bad on my part. All right, we're pulling left about three and a half degrees or with our path is about three and a half degrees left with a two degree open face, okay? These are the type of stats that you can get on stuff like a GC quad or a unicore. And now we're able to get these at our home for, you know, an absolute fraction of the price. So we'll hit one more, kind of see what we get here. We'll try to do one the other way and just kind of see what, uh, what stats we get. So we really left that one open just to try to show you guys. We've got the pace right. What we should see is an open face and kind of a path moving from center to right. And it gave me no path there. I think I might have hit that one so bad that it couldn't read. Let's try one more time. A little bit better there. Definitely should have picked that one up. We'll see what we get. All right. And it does not want to give me the club path on those. That's all right. It happens from time to time. But it's trying to pick up everything on these little club stickers like I showed you guys in the beginning of the video. Um, I have seen occasionally where you don't get the club path, but you still get the angle, still going to read everything perfect. And then of course, if you look over here to the right, that's where you also are going to see some of your, some of those numbers, some of the averages. Um, so from here, let's hop to the, um, the play and we'll check out some of those golf courses. Going to go to the menu, finish that up. Of course, you're going to get a nice little overview of everything that happened, kind of going to get your averages. And of course, if you really get a lot of putts in there, I think the most I've ever gotten was about 75. Those averages are going to look a lot more grouped together. Let's see. All right. And let's go to the play. We'll just keep it at one. Same green speeds. All right, guys, so as you can see, of course, we got a beautiful looking green here. It's gonna place out that grid just like if you were playing Golden Tee, like if you were putting on any of the other simulators, or even if you were playing you know, just a golf game on Xbox, okay? So what I'm seeing here, we've got a little bit of right to left break. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take our remote here. This is one of the ways to aim it, and we're just gonna go a couple clicks over to the right. Might be a few too many clicks, but we'll see how far this is breaking today. Then of course we've got our, our H is gonna be our height. So we've got six inches uphill. And then of course we've got a 46 foot putt and two inches. We'll see how close we can get this one. Ooh, might've been a little too hard. 
Ooh, just missed it. As you can see, you're gonna have some really natural roll on these greens. All right, let's see if we can get it back up the hill. This time, instead of aiming, I'm just gonna try to hit maybe one inch left of center on, the, uh, on my little back pad. So you've kind of got different ways that you can aim this or you know, if you just wanna line up yourself and hit that putt a little bit to the left, you can also do that. Helps if you aim it though. And then what you'll see is once you get into about, uh, I believe it's one foot or two feet, that's when you actually get the gimme and it'll, it'll have you concede and move on to the next one. See if we can actually put a ball in the hole and we can't. So we're pretty bad at this. As you can see, double bogey, we get the concede. Par five green, so it's gonna show up just like your normal scores on the course. And then of course, you know, you can run all the way through nine holes here. And uh, you've got four different courses to choose from. And of course, you can get a lot of different variations if you're mixing up those green speeds. Um, you know, of course, a lot of people aren't going to play on greens that are going to be this fast. A lot of those local muni courses, you're going to be closer to a six or a seven on the green speed rather than, you know, anywhere from a 10 to a 13. I'm a huge fan of this thing. Uh, I took this thing home the first time I got it in, tested it the whole weekend, absolutely fell in love with it. Um, really can show you what's going on. I'm not a golf professional. I do golf a little bit, but the fact that I'm able to be at home and do this without having to go, you know, spend the money on a lesson, get out to the facility, you know, get strapped up to all this machinery. The fact I can just do this at home is so incredibly convenient and will absolutely shed a couple strokes off that game if we put the right practice in. Thank you guys for tuning in. I think that's all we've got today. Um, please. Absolutely. Please subscribe, smash that like button, and we'll see you guys next time.